Hey, our friends, today is Memorial Day, and we thought it would be fun to celebrate by drawing a folded flag. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. Yeah, you need a marker or something to draw with. We're also gonna use pencil and... Some paper and something to color with. Yeah, all right, let's start. And we're gonna draw the outside shape of our folded flag, and we're gonna draw a triangle shape, but we're also gonna curve the corners so that they're not sharp. Let's start down here at the bottom. We're gonna draw a horizontal line that comes across our paper. And we're going to leave a space at the end. We don't want to draw the line all the way to the edge of our paper. This will give us room to draw the curved corner. Now we're going to switch to our pencil and we're going to split our line in half. So right about here in half, we're going to draw an imaginary line that goes straight up and then we're going to add a point up here at the top. Now this is the center or the point of our triangle. So now we can switch back to our marker. That's just a guide point. We're going to erase that later. Let's draw a curve right here in the corner, and then we're going to aim up to this point, curve at the top, and it's okay if you don't hit that point exactly. I went past it. And then we're going to curve back down, and then curve one last time into the bottom of the triangle to complete the shape. Good job, that looks really cool. Let's switch to our eraser and erase that guide point. When you fold the flag, there's a little part of the stripes that you can see over here on the right edge. So let's start up here, and we're gonna draw a diagonal line. I'm gonna start at the top of the point, or the top of the triangle. I'm gonna draw a diagonal line, but look, I'm gonna draw it down to the bottom of this corner. Yeah, all right, now let's draw the stripes on this sliver. We're gonna draw a line right down the middle. So split it equally, then let's split it again the top and the bottom equally. And let's do that one more time so that we can add more stripes. So let's split the top one, then the second shape, third, and all the way down to the last shape. Cool, that's a simple way to make sure that each stripe is equal. Let's switch to our pencil and we're gonna draw the stars. We're first gonna draw the little points that are peeking over the edge down here at the bottom. So right in the middle, we're gonna draw a little point. That's for our first star. You can only see the top of it. <laughs> then we're gonna split the distance and we're gonna come over here. We're gonna add another point. And same thing over here. Upside down V. Now we're gonna draw the next star and we're gonna draw in between these two points. We're gonna draw an upside down V that's really big. So we're gonna draw, we're gonna go up and then down. Now we're gonna go across. We'll start over here on the right side, and we're gonna draw a diagonal line that goes across and pass. Then we'll go straight across on the top and then connect down to where we first started. That's okay. kind of tricky, right? A not, too, bit. not too bad though. Yeah. <laughs> now let's draw another one. We're gonna draw it over here. We're gonna repeat that same step. We're gonna draw an upside down V, and we want that height of the V to be the same as the first one we did. And we're gonna start over here on the right, go across, across again, and then start where we, or end where we first started. Okay, now over here, maybe we can only see part of it. So I'm gonna just draw an upside down V, and let's go ahead and finish so that we can see how much of the star is still there. Cool, all right, now let's do the same thing over here. I'm gonna draw all the way off of the triangle shape and then finish. Now the next row of stars are gonna be the same like we did here. We're going to draw an upside down V right here in between these two stars. And then we're gonna go across, just repeat that same step. We want this to be the same size as our other stars, so you can redraw it if you need to. That's the nice thing about using a pencil, right? Yeah. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. This next row is in between each of the bottom stars, but just a little higher. We'll add that last one over here. If we go too fast and you need extra time to finish the step, remember you can pause the video. We're gonna do the same thing on the next row. We're gonna add the star in between these two, but just higher. We'll start by doing that upside down V, go across, and then end where we started. Go over it again, just for fun. Then 
one more over here. And then I just have enough room for one more star at the top. Now, if your drawings are slightly different, that's okay. You can add more stars, or if you've already run out of room, that's okay too. Next, we're gonna switch to our eraser, and we're gonna erase the stars, or part of the star, that is outside of the triangle shape. So we'll just go around. We can speed this part up, but we're gonna erase all of these extra guidelines. Then we're gonna erase the inside of each star. We don't wanna erase the outside, just the inside. So we'll do this first one. Go around and just erase those extra guidelines. The center of the star is white, so we wanna make sure that we're not drawing any lines inside of the star. So it should just look like that when we're all done, yeah. This part we're gonna fast forward again, but you can pause the video and take time to erase your guidelines also. We got all of the guidelines erased. We even got our cool little sweeper we can get all the shavings off, yeah. Let's switch back to our marker, and we're gonna trace around the outside of each star. Just go around like this, and ink in each of the stars. All right, good job, Jack, we did it. Let's do one more thing though before we color it. We're gonna switch back to our eraser and go around and erase the rest of the guidelines. All of the pencil lines that you can still see. Now we're ready to color our flags. We're just gonna use three colors, red, blue, and gray. Yeah, for shading, but you could leave that off if you want. We're using markers, we're using Biannio markers. And if you have the same markers, we're using B016 and R107. Yeah. You ready to color? Yes. Jack, give me five. You did such a great job on coloring your flag, your folded flag. Yeah. We also used a white colored pencil to add a highlight to make it look more three-dimensional. We use that gray marker to add the shading. You guys don't have to use markers. Yeah, you could use whatever you have at home, colored pencils or even oil pastels. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your folded flag. We also want to say thank you to all of the people who have served our country, both past and present. We love you. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Hey, parents and teachers, take a photo of your child's finished artwork and post it on Facebook or Instagram. Also, be sure to tag us in it at Art for Kids Hub. Did you know that we also have a website? You can find it at artforkidshub.com. It has more lessons and information about art supplies we love to use. You can also visit artforkidshub.tv to learn more about our awesome Art Hub membership. The membership includes exclusive lessons and our own apps so your child can learn art in a focused, distraction-free environment.